Hi guys, hi, how's it going? How are you doing today? Hopefully today finds you well. Today I'm super excited to bring you Deca Panning for the first time here on my channel. This is a project that was created by Emily and Max here on YouTube and I have been watching, for the most part, I have been watching this transpire over the last couple years and have finally decided to dip my toe in it now that I think I understand it a little bit more and I'm so excited to join the ranks of some of the creators here on this platform that participate in this. I watch a whole lot of people who do this project pan and I am super excited to do it. Um, Emily from Emily and Max is the creator of this project pan and she was inspired actually by booktube by a creator called Books with Maddie and she asked her permission to make this formatted in a way that made sense to the beauty community and hence here we are. If you guys are unfamiliar with Deck of Panning, I am going to put Emily's intro video down in my description box, a link to that. I'm also going to put a link to Emily's channel, a link to Maddie's channel, as well as a link to the um, Deck of Panning playlist down in my description box so that you guys can have all the information. But the premise to it is that you must have 52 card deck with a joker, making it 53 cards. You guys can see my joker is going into my deck of cards. My deck of cards is nothing fancy. You don't have to have a fancy deck. And then we have a game board. I'm gonna put the game board up here right now for you guys to be able to visualize it. It is a project that runs from the 20th of January. So today through the 20th of December with one month off in between starting new and you pick five cards, correspond those cards to the game board, and then you pick those products to utilize uh, for this deck of panning project pan. It is rolling, so every time you finish a product, you roll in a new one using your deck of cards. And the game board is shuffled every single month, so it does change every single month. There is not the same game board twice, whereas there might be the same prompt on the board. It's not always going to show up on the two of clubs, if that makes any sense. There is an optional skip that you can utilize as well. And for that option, you must then choose two different cards to quantify for that skip and those two cards, if you can, must be merged in some sort of way. So if you pick like the color blue and you pick a blush, then you have to have a blue blush if you have one. <laughs> but if you can't, then you pick something blue and you pick something that's a blush. This is going to be different than my other project pan in that I typically will do a, you know, whole collection project pan or rolling 10 pan. And when I do rolling 10 pan, my goal with that rolling 10 pan is to complete to emptiness every product in that rolling 10 pan. Whereas with this project, it might just be a usage goal. There are some pretty hard targets on this game board though. So I'm really super excited to jump into this. I've been watching it now for a couple years and it's always intrigued me but I've never dabbled in it. I do have my Rolling 10 Pan products marked with an orange Sharpie. And for these products, I have pulled a black sh or a blue Sharpie. That is what I will be marking these products with so that I remember what products are which when I reach into my goals. I will be tracking via a spreadsheet or just a handy dandy pen and paper kind of tracking system because as I said, these will be more usage goals for the most part than what is in my rolling 10 pounds. So now that I think I have explained it appropriately, I wanna introduce you to myself if you're new here. Hi, my name is Donna. I'm a lover of all things high and colorful beauty and self-care. 
I also work in the beauty industry as a field leader for Ulta Beauty. I get a lot of education in my position. I like to bring you that education here on my channel, but ultimately I just like to talk about makeup. So I'm out here living my best life talking about makeup and I pick you to be the person that I ramble on and on with. So with that said, I'm kind of a chatty channel. I hope that chatty channels are something that warms your heart. And if they are, that you'll want to subscribe before you go. Let's roll into this project pan. I am so excited. All right, you pick five products to roll in. So I'll be picking five cards. Then we'll look at the game board and see what each one of those five cards means. I am gonna shuffle my deck. A couple more times you guys saw me put the Joker in the deck. I'm a little bit scared. So just uh, to give you all some more premise, the face cards in the deck all stay the same. So whether you get an ace, king, queen, jack of, uh, you know, red or an ace, king, queen, jack of black, they all stay the same the, throughout the entirety of the year. And they're like good and evil, right? Um, they're yin and yang to each other. And then the Joker called Are You Joking? And it is about a product that you really don't want to pan. The sunshine is trying to impede on us, so I'm gonna try and make this fast, and then hopefully I'll be able to turn off the camera while I go find the things, and when I come back, hopefully the sunshine will be gone. We will see, but I'm gonna pull five cards. So my first card is the two of spades. My second card is the queen of diamonds. My third card is the four of clubs. <laughs> My fourth card is the three of clubs. And my fifth and final card is the three of diamonds. Okay, so let's talk about these spaces. Again, I'm gonna pull up the game board. So the two of spades is an SPF product. The queen of diamonds is an easy peasy lemon squeezy product. So this is a product that is gonna be super easy for you to hit like your goal on. The four of clubs is a baked product and the three of clubs is a wish list dupe. Like a, a product that you want for but think that you can dupe it out in your own collection. And then the three of diamonds is hit a new pan. Oh my goodness. So hit a new pan is something that I want to hit pan in. Ooh, I'm running out of room with the sun. Okay. All right. I'm going to go pick my products. I will be right back. Hopefully the sun situation will be fixed in that time. After much deliberation, I think I have the products figured out. So the first card I pulled was the two of spades. It was an SPF product. So the product I pulled out is actually the product that I have been using every single day as an SPF. And it is this Garnier Brightening Serum Cream. It has an SPF of 30. I'm going to set a usage goal on it. We have, you know, 31 days between now and the 20th of February. And I want to use this 15 times. And the reason why I'm saying that is because this is my daily SPF. But I haven't been using it because it's dark and dismal outside or I'm not going out of my house or for whatever reason. It has taken me far too long to get done with this product. So I am going to set a goal of 15 uses and I will track it every time I use it. I don't have my perfect tracking system down yet. Obviously, this is the first time I'm, you know, doing this, this project. So the second card I pulled was the Queen of Diamonds and the Queen of Diamonds is easy peasy. So for me, it's a usage goal on a Lawlet on a lip gloss because I use lip gloss every single day. This is the Lawless Forget the Filler lip gloss. This one is in the shade Velvet 
and it is a beautiful gloss, uh, but I used it quite consistently the first, you know, couple months I had it, and now I haven't used it at all, and it's been several months since I used it last. I do want to also get a 15-use goal on this Forget the Filler lip gloss. Okay, my next card was the Four of Clubs. And the Four of Clubs was a baked product. And for that, I did pull the Laura Geller Baked Blush in Brighton in Cherry Truffle. It is a beautiful blush. I really, really enjoy this blush specifically during the winter time. So I figured it was a good time to pull it in. I want to get seven uses out of this blush and the reason why I say seven is because I do have a shop my stash I also have project pan items I don't have a blush in my project pan items but I have several blushes going in my shop my stash so and I'm not a person who can use the same blush every single day if I'm honest so I am going to pull this in as my for a seven use goal as my baked product for the next one, which was the Three of Clubs, it is a wish list dupe. And I have a bunch of stuff on my wish list from some indie brands. And the biggest reason I have stuff from indie brands on my wish list is because I don't have anything like them in my collection. But one of the things that I was just looking at yesterday and I'll pop a picture in here, is this Soul Main to Moonlight Feel Highlighter by Odin's Eye. I haven't tried anything from Odin's Eye yet, and I really have my eyeballs on several of their products. I don't need another highlighter, and I think that this highlight being in my, like, cart is destroying my <laughs> thought process on whether I'm going to purchase these or not. Uh, the one I really like is H105, which is Azura Shine, and it is a multi-chrome with sparkly shimmers, including silver, purple, and blue shimmers, and I don't have anything exactly like it in my collection, mostly because, and this might be my telltale sign, right? Mostly because I don't like shimmery highlights. I like them to be smooth and not really glittery. The one highlight that I think could resemble it the closest would be my Laura Geller uh, Baked Gelato Swirl Illuminator in Diamond Dust. And the reason why I think it would represent it most similarly is because it's a white highlight, but it's got like blue and pink and purple like reflect to it. And it's also a highlight in my collection that I have not touched in years, years. Why? Because I don't wear this kind of highlight. So this might give me um, some like true tea tales in my head about why I don't need to purchase this highlight. So I do want to use this. I'm going to put this down also for seven uses because if I can't use it seven times in the next 30 days or if I'm not even drawn to pick it up then I probably don't need to pick up a highlighter that is pretty much the same thing so this is the product that I have for the three of clubs which was a wish list dupe and I'm gonna go for a usage goal of seven uses on that one as well and then the last card was the Three of Diamonds, which was hit a new pan. And I think the easiest thing for me to hit a new pan on right now, <laughs> because everything in my collection is well used, but not used enough for hitting a pan on an item to not be a long haul problem, problem, whatever. The thing that I think I come the closest to being able to hit pan on and know that it could be really easy if I utilize it every single day is the Fresh Sugar Coconut Hydrating Lip Balm. This is what it looks like right now. 
And then inside, that is what it looks like right now. There is a pretty heavy dip in there. I do think that there's a lot of like peeking through and a lot of you can see kind of the bottom. I think that if I really focus, I can definitely hit pan on this in the next 30 days. And if it's not the next 30 days, it won't be long after that. I don't think that this is going to be a long haul product to keep in for the entirety of this project. So I do think this one can be done by the next rollout. I also do think this one could be done by the next rollout. And I think if I put this in my purse, this could also be done by the next rollout. The ones that I'm really concerned about are these two because this one specifically, because it is kind of an iridescent highlight and I just don't do that anymore but maybe if I like use it on my inner corner and maybe this will teach me a lesson on like what my usage goals really need to look like but I want to start easy on myself since this is the first time I'm in this and since I don't really know I've I don't think I've ever really done a usage goal kind of project so we'll see we'll see how this goes so some housekeeping, these cards do go back into the deck now because I've pulled them. I have taken notes on my notebook here about the usage goals that I set for each one of these products as well as what the product is. And um, I also have taken notes on what card it was that they came from so that I can relay that in the next video, which is the update video on the 20th of February. I will put my cards away for this month and we will just move forward. I am going to mark every single one of these with a blue marker so I can tell the difference between these products and my Project 10 Pen products. I will keep a tally every time I use these products. This will, this document will leave, maybe I'll put it into that little um, Rolodex that I have of the index cards. Maybe I'll put each one of these products in there so it's easy for me to just tick mark away when I do use them so it's not a pad of paper sitting on my vanity. Regardless of whether I have a rollout or not, I will be pulling a card every single time not as a punishment to myself, but as a way to keep this game going and keep it interesting. Are you doing deck of panning? I would sure be interested in watching your video. I uh, fell in love with this project. Didn't feel like I could jump on the bandwagon. I just watched from afar and have been watching from afar actually for the last couple years. Really love this project, really think it's fun. Really kudos to Emily for creating it. Thank you so much for inviting those that want to take part in this project to just entertain ourselves with this project and for continuing to move forward in this game. I know that it was something that you were dabbling back and forth with not doing this year and I'm really happy that you did because I get to take part in it. So. With that said, you guys, please check out Emily from Emily and Max. Please check out Maddie from Books with Maddie. Please check out the other creators that are doing this on the playlist that's linked down in my description box. I appreciate every single one of you for being here. Please let me know what you're panning. I would love to know if you have a project pan running in your on your channel, in your day-to-day, -day, on your Instagram. I would love to show support to you. So please let me know for sure. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I appreciate every single one of you for being here. I hope that you and yours are well, that you're safe, that you're healthy, and that you're getting along as best you can in this crazy world that we're living in. And until next time, bye friends.